Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be explaining to you why I put roughly $16,000 into this NFT collection, Mutant Cats. You can see I've got three of them here and I've also staked them. And another thing you should probably know is that these are earning me around $100 per day based on the current price of fish. You can see 100 USDT equals 30 fish. And what do you know? I'm earning 30 fish per day. So $100 a day just by holding these NFTs. But guys, it, does $100 a day get you excited? Because I know $100 a day doesn't mean shit to me. So why the f would I get into this? That's what I'm going to explain to you in this video because I promise you it wasn't for $100 a day. There are so many more reasons you have to understand if you're going to get into this or at least want to create your own opinion and stance and judgment on this. So guys, first thing you should know is that this is not your average profile picture collection, right? On the surface, without looking into it, you may think that, okay? But the truth is there's a lot more going beyond the scenes here. And the first is that when you buy one of these mutant cat uh, you know, NFTs, like I said, you're not just getting an NFT, you're getting basically a spot in the DAO, okay? And what is a DAO? What, what is the benefit to this DAO? Well, what this DAO does is it uses, okay, the proceeds, the profits from the collection, from secondary sales to actually go ahead and purchase blue chip projects. Now, mainly cool cats okay and so this is actually the DAO wallet meaning when you are an owner of a mutant cat you actually have a share of all these nfts okay so think about it when you own one of these uh, mutant cats you're getting 10 fish per day and how are they able to to get you these fish per day how do these fish even have a value well the value derives from the NFTs in the community wallet, which if you didn't realize, remember, you are a part owner of this community wallet whenever you own a mutant cat. But how does that actually work? How does it literally affect you? How does, you know, how do you extract the value from this wallet that is supposedly, you know, you're supposedly a part owner in, right? How does that actually benefit you, right? Because really it just seems like some wallet is out there and supposedly we're saying that benefits you. No, how does that actually benefit you? Well, let's think about it, right? They're distributing fish which are backed and tied to these NFTs. So example, if you have a $100,000 NFT and you have 5,000 mutant cat owners, then there's two simple ways I want you to think of this. One is there's $100,000 that can be split amongst 5,000 owners. What is the, the value there? It's 20, okay? 20 per owner. Okay, now another way to think of this is you can actually fractionalize this $100,000 NFT into a piece for everybody. So if you have 5,000 people and they all need one piece, well, you got 5,000 pieces which need to have a value, right? Because each piece is a fraction of the whole. So in this case, what does that fraction equal? It equals 20. And in this case, that could be 20 fish, that could be $20, uh, but the point is what they're distributing to you, which is the fish. So in, in this example, and, and so these are my own numbers I've plugged in here to the equation, right? But but you can see how this works, right? You're, you're literally tying the value of the NFT and distributing all the value amongst every owner, okay? So that's how it works, okay? So with this number, right, with $100,000 and 5,000 owners, you could distribute $20 of value to each owner right so that makes sense so keep that in mind now that being said this could be categorized as a fractional NFT right because what are you getting here a fraction of the whole which you know fractional NFTs are considered securities or you know not exactly yet okay but you know if you think about owning a fraction of a physical art or, or painting okay that's considered a security Okay, because you're not in it just for the actual piece itself. You're in it for the monetary gain that you'll get from owning a part of it. Okay, but this is the beautiful part about owning a mutant cat because it makes this whole security thing a lot less direct, right? Because really, you bought the mutant cat because you wanted the mutant cat, right? You didn't buy the mutant cat so that you could be a fractional NFT owner, right? So it's a difference. Okay, this is kind of like an indirect way of being a fractional NFT owner. Whereas someone who wants to just go buy a fraction of, of, of an NFT, right? Let's say you wanted to buy a fraction of this right here. Well, that, that is a security labeled behavior. Whereas once again, by owning a mutant cat, right? 
this whole back end, this is the back end, right? This is the surface, okay? So this is like a very sneaky or indirect way of getting around this security labeled activity, right? It's not a security. You bought this thing, why, right? You bought it, why? You tell me. You bought it because you wanted the mutant cat, right? You, you don't have to say you wanted this so you could be a fractional NFT owner. And by the way, are you a fractional NFT owner or are you actually a fish owner? You see what I mean? So it's very tricky uh, in that sense of, hey, you can't necessarily directly call this a security, okay? And so it's very neatly done uh, from those, you know, little ways I've explained to you there. Okay, so very cool stuff overall, but I still have a couple concerns, which are, remember, how are they able to buy these NFTs? Well, they buy these NFTs from the 10% royalty on the secondary market. So all the transactions that are made here go to the community wallet. And so, you know, let's say you do 100 Ether in sales and they get 10% of 100 Ether, that's 10 Ether, right? So then they can actually go and buy these NFTs and then distribute that value to you, okay? So keep that in mind. Uh, what happens if there's no more sales on the market? What if volume dries up to where, well, where's your income, Where, right? Where's that source of income so you can actually go and buy more of these fractionalized uh, or more of these NFTs to then fractionalize in a sense, right? But really, you're distributing fish which are tied to the value of the NFT, okay? So it, it's interesting, right? That's my concern. That's my only concern. And, and I really wanted to talk to the founder or the, uh, the person in charge of this project to get more clarity on that because it's something that I don't fully understand is, okay, what happens if, like I said, what if all the cats become staked, right? Right now, there is 90.3% of mutant cats staked. What happens if 100% gets staked? Because that's possible, right? Isn't that possible? Well, where do the sales come from? Where does the revenue uh, get generated to actually go and buy more to continue to add value? Because remember, you have to continue adding value. Why? Because every day you're distributing 10 fish per cat. And so if you're distributing 10 fish per cat, there's two ways this goes. One, you're either going to dilute the supply Right, so if you're diluting the supply but not adding more value to this collection here, then the value of your fish is just going down, right? So you're getting more fish, right? But you're not actually getting more value because the value is tied to this, right? So if you have a hundred thousand dollar NFT, but and you have forty fish, oh, well, and now all of a sudden you have eighty fish, is your eighty fish more valuable than forty fish? No, it's not because it's just the value of the NFT. You see what I mean? So the way that it's going to continue to provide. It, you know, a rewarding situation for a holder is you have to continue to continuously buy more and more and more of these NFTs to be able to continuously distribute valuable fish. You see what I mean? So, guys, I'm by no means an expert here. So, if you understand this better than me, like I said, I was trying to get in contact with the the Discord owner and, and learn more about this because I think it's really interesting and I feel like. You know, it's very well thought out, but at the same time, there, there could be some cracks in here that you have to understand, right? And, and that could be one of the cracks is, what if sales stop? What if everyone in 100% of the supply is staked? Where does your sales come from so that you can continue to provide value in the community wallet, obviously fractionalize that and distribute it to, you know, the, the, own, uh, the holders in fish, right? So that's my one concern that's my biggest concern but as of now you can see that's not a problem whatsoever now a couple rebuttals I've got into that by talking to some of the people is that hey uh, no worries why because they're actually gonna make another collection uh, it's gonna be like gorillas okay and the gorillas collection is gonna have even more volume right and, and that's gonna bring more revenue so I think that's cool but what happens after gorillas what if gorillas get a hundred percent staked as well then where does the volume come from where does the uh, generation of income come from to once again add value to the community wallet to then add value to the holders right so you know that's my only concern there but like I said I'm not going all in on this I only put sixteen thousand dollars into this I picked up three of them and I think it's a very well thought out process but like I said I would love some more cl clarification on where are these sources of income going to come from you know what I mean what happens if these become fully staked right so I'm not going to repeat myself anymore there uh, but that's a great question, and if you're a mutant cat owner, you really know your shit. I would love if you could explain that to me. Maybe text me on Discord, Alex NFT triple eight five right here uh, down in the bottom. Uh, so, just reach out to me, even on Twitter, maybe guys. 
but that's my main concern. Now, that being said, okay, this is what really got me, okay, because you can have these concerns, you can have this and that, all these theories, whatever, but look at the numbers. The numbers don't lie, guys. There is 296 listed out of 10,000 supply, and so supposedly that is the lowest listing to supply ratio, and that makes sense because 90% of the supply is staked. And so when you have such a limited supply and a demand for them, then that is what gives you an equation for a ridiculous ether floor price. Okay, because if you have, for example, only 50 of these mutant cats available on the market, and there's thousands and thousands of people who want them, well, obviously you can charge a premium because limited supply and a ton of people who are competing over them. And so that equation, these numbers alone, right? Forget the fractionalized, forget the, 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 the fish that you might get, forget everything, okay, that we've talked about. Just think about the numbers alone. All it takes is a couple whales to come in, sweep up the floor here, and, and there's only gonna be like 100 available, guys. And 100 available with thousands of and you know people in demand, uh, yeah, that's how the the floor of this can be astronomical, and and that's how the the volume traded right. Think about it. If if these start going for five ETH or ten ETH, or people are purchasing them. Guess who makes more money, right? The DAO. And guess who's an owner in the DAO by owning one of these? You. And guess what? If the DAO makes more money, you make more money because when the DAO makes more money, they're able to go buy more NFTs, which obviously leads to more value generated and distributed to you. And so all those things are great. But the final thing to wrap up this overall breakdown here in this video, guys, is fish, right? I'm earning 30 fish a day, okay, based on three mutant cats, right? If you own one mutant cat, you get 10 fish a day. Now, 30 fish a day equals $100 a day. But the beautiful part about this is that the only way the value of your fish is going to go down is if the volume and sales is not going to keep up with the generation of fish in relation to the generation or, I guess, the purchases of NFTs, right? So if the way I just broke it down didn't make enough sense, kind of just think about it yourself, break it down a second, okay, and think about it, right? The way the value of your fish will go down is if... You're not able to purchase enough NFTs in relation to the fish that you're going to be distributing, which is 10 fish a day. So that's obviously something to keep in mind. But look, there's plenty of volume going around here. okay? And so that is no problem as of now. And so you're going to continue to extract more and more value out of this DAO system that you have here in this mutant cat collection. So you're making $100 a day. But like I said, I wanted to wrap this video off talking about the token. Remember, there's there's actually no utility behind this token yet besides the fact that it's pegged to the value of the NFTs. But the beautiful part right now is that these tokens that you're getting are actually going to have utility soon. And some of that utility is, one, you're actually going to be able to breed mutant cats. So if you have two mutant cats, you're going to be able to make a baby just like, you know, for example, kaiju kings, right? If you had two kaiju kings and you had enough of the, what, R waste it is? for the kaiju kings collection then you could do what you can create a baby kaiju and what does a baby kaiju cost it costs four ether so same story here okay you're going to be able to breed two you're going to be able to create a new nft and that's obviously valuable as long as there's a market and people who want one and so what does that actually do that generates more sales and income for the dow more income for the dow more income for you higher fish revenue or higher fish value so and it gets more people into the collection okay so that's the first utility is for breeding is what you can use the uh, token here for fish right second thing you're gonna be able to do is actually feed the fish to the gorilla collection so they're gonna have another collection called the gorillas or something like that and you're gonna be able to use your fish to feed the gorillas now what is feeding your gorilla do I'm not exactly sure uh, what the what what feeding fish to digital gorillas does I know it's a little goofy, it sounds a little funny, but I'm sure there's got to be some kind of incentive there uh, and some kind of benefit you get from feeding your valuable fish to gorillas. Okay, so funny stuff. I know we're living in some crazy times right now. We're talking about feeding digital fish to digital gorillas. We're talking about fractionalizing art and then giving you fish. I mean, it's just crazy shit, but look, guys, you either adapt to the game or you get left behind, and so this is what's up. So 
Uh, guys, that floor is razor thin, and that's why I put around $16,000 into this and staked three of these mutant cats. So looking to buy some more, I think I'll probably allocate roughly $30,000 into these, and I do like them. Uh, you know, I, I like the idea a lot, but there could be some fundamental flaws and cracks in this that I can't think of right now. So, so guys, I hope this video helped you understand this Mutant Cats collection, why it's not just a regular PFP, how it actually adds extra value to you, how the DAO works, how you actually extract the value from this so-called community wallet that you're supposedly an owner of, right? And, and how all those things work and tie together, as well as how does this fish token even have value? How is it distributed to you, right? So hopefully this video was super helpful in breaking all those things down for you guys. Now, before we end off, guys, if you haven't followed me on Twitter, at Trading Crashes, make sure to do so, as well as subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the next one. Take care, and that's your breakdown of the Mutant Cats collection.